Hey, what is up citizens? This is President Vercelli back with another episode of Pokemon Snakewood. So, to the right of, um, what the hell is it? Fortree City? There was this cave. The rainy cave. But now, there's another cave at the end of it. And yes, yes, I did indeed find all this out myself because, um, let's see, back in, uh, Pacifa Dog City, or town or whatever, the, the floating island thingy, um, they mentioned, like, where Professor Bor Borch, Birch went. And, uh, one of them was the Scorch Slab, which turned into the Rainy Cave. But anyways, I'm just kind of going back, checking various places, and this just happened to bear fruit. So let's see what is in this icy cave. Yeah, you have to see the dawn to get help. Me too! Why am I trying to give you a dawn voice when you are clearly not the dawn? Glissadamon. Big cap. Alright, so you're probably a rock type. Cosmic power! Uh, a rock psychic type? Like Soul Rock? I lost because it's cold in here! I needed help, so I came to Dawn Con. As a friend, of course. <sighs> so, as you see, I'm rocking out with my robe today. And, Supplicant Dawn Punchies. You're not? Okay, okay. Anyways, as you see, I'm rocking out in my robe today. And that is because... Oh my goodness. <sighs> it has been... Such a long day at work. Again, j just just get you off to speed. I do work at a grocery store, uh, and grocery stores are terrible, terrible, terrible places. Don't ever treat a grocery clerk meanly, or you know, leave or leave your shit anywhere in the store, because oh my god, the stuff they go through. Like me, who uh, today um, on a Sunday, our busiest day, was left by himself. In the dairy department, you know, one of one of the, if not the most visited department in the store, uh, by myself, with stuff to do in a refrigerator and on the floor, uh, with not one, but two days worth of shipments. Now, obviously, I didn't get it all done. I, I could barely get any of it done, mostly because, um... Some of my co-works left that place a mess, and, uh, yeah, you know. Welcome to the meat house. If you're here to see the meat father, please take in the seat and wait. Alrighty then. Alright. Anyways, I, I think you get the picture. I think you get the picture. Not exactly, um... Not exactly the most amused today. But, eh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Except, you know, maybe quit in the future. Which, uh, yeah, I did have to bring that up to, um, the management being like, you know what? It... Oh, well, thank you. Y you know, I kind of had to bring that up to the management being like, you know, how things are, I can never feel like I get anything done. And, you know, that's actually an important thing for me in a job. I actually have to feel like I'm accomplishing something. You know, and even in a freaking grocery store, which... You know, is like the definition of a dead end job. But, but thank you for the meaty bell. Anyways, yeah, even on a job like that, you know, I, I still take pride in what I do, and I want to do a good job. I want to know that. You know, I, I want to know that um, the stuff I do you know, actually has an impact on the store. But, you know, with how things are, I can I can never see that. So, you know, I'll, I'll mull it over, but, you know, I, th I thought it was appropriate to let them know about such things. Oh, is that I come out of here? Yes, I did. And hooray for ice puzzles. Okay, that was kind of easy. All right, so we're at the meet dawn. Um, who I don't know what he's gonna do, but uh, he might be incredibly scary. So let's go ahead and save. Luncheon still seems like a very solid choice. 
I am the meat father, Don Carne. When my friends have a problem, I am the one to whom they turn to have the problem solved. I could not do that voice today, no, but I'm still gonna try. That's why I sit here in my office, in my meat house. Oh? You don't seem to have a problem. Would you mind leaving so that others who do can see me? I am Fingers. When the meat father asks, I'm the one who pushes the button. Oh god. Are you sure I don't have a problem? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Dang it! Okay, so this was a gigantic waste of time. Um, unfortunately then I do have to kind of go back to the drawing board, but, but at the same time, I might just have an idea because wasn't there another icy path that I could go on? So I'll go ahead and fly over to, uh, geez, what was it? Let's see, uh, Oh god. Oh, look at this! What? Ah. Alright, well, I'm not gonna subject you to this, citizens. I'm gonna go ahead and explore the waste again. <laughs> I think I, I, think I uh, might be playing Fallout 4 here. I wish I was, because I'm kind of done with this game. But, anyways, I'll go ahead and skip ahead to when I find something interesting. Uh, just a little interesting thing I found here. So apparently Famine is now a rock, and everyone's back there, and WTF. And uh, apparently I just broke the game. Wunderbug! Alright, hold on again, citizens. Alright, so uh, Birch just called me uh, outside of the Pokemon League, asking if I found the Swampert. No, there wasn't one. Tones was a drunkard and probably just saw a fish or something. I did find out where Landon and May are, though. Really? Excellent. Where? Sudopolis City, the Lair of Senex, the guy behind this zombie invasion, some kind of necromancer, I think. Sudopolis, you say? There's an island, so there must be a tunnel linking it to the mainland since zombies can't go running over water. I get it. Look for the tunnel in Lily Cove, right? Right! You know, that's the first really good idea we've had so far, Birch. See ya. Um, thanks. Bye. What is up with this Swampert? What you talking about? Oh, I have no clue. You know, this is the second time that's happened. Yo, you gotta work on the scripting for this game. Anyways, off to whatever the hell I find next. Alright, so here's something a little interesting. So now I can enter the Petalburg Gym. Sure, let's go through the speed room. Uh, battle zombie crushes a towel caddy between its massive fists. Oh, that's sad. That's also okay, because I'm gonna freaking body you. Watchy! Though you're impressed that towel caddy can be crumbled, you still defeated the zombie. Uh, zero reduction, sure. Alright, there's. Ooh, bleed oys. Nice. I guess. It's kind of sad, you know, to see a freaking beautiful Blastoise missing an arm, but, eh, oh well. He went down like a three pound sick man versus Ow, Ali. Ali? Why does that sound familiar, yet I have absolutely no idea what it means? My right, strength room. The battle zombie flinches away from your presence. Ha! She's scared! Kill her! Ooh, Vivazor! I would love if a Venusaur had that shiny sprite. Just look at that thing! It's beautiful, baby! Beautiful! Alright, so anyways... Uh, Masher, it's not a Mega Venusaur, so it doesn't have thick fat. So a Fire Blast should utterly and completely body this thing. Oh yeah! If she was scared before, she now seems positively terrified! Off. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I can go back, actually. Uh, Norman! What you doing taking control of these zombies? My child! Uh, who, 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 who are you? You don't remember? No, I, uh... Oh, a flashback! 
Aha, that's funny, kid. Look, Landon Loba's playing with your Blaziken. Uh, Loba's going to become a real powerful trainer one day. I can sense it. Well, there's two of us in the family. We can always deal with more. What? Dormant Dad? Hello, Loba. I'm so glad you could make it. Get away from me. Come closer. It'll be just like old times. I can make you like me, and we can live together. Just like how it used to be. Dad, that's right. Come closer. No! What? What was that? Ah, get off of me. Loba punches Norma's decaying teeth from their arm. What? But it's me, Loba, your father. No, you're not. I have to die. Forgive me. Okay, gym battle. Monstrous Norman would like to battle. Okay, well, it looks like I'm just around the right level for this, so huzzah. Oh, you did not just yawn me, mm mm, boy. Well, assuming you don't full restore, you're gonna full restore, aren't you? Okay. I'm gonna have to, or else I'm going to uh, fall asleep. Which, that is a uh, no good. Alright, Gorlax, uh. Doesn't have as good defense, so let's just go ahead, put to sleep, and cut. Cut, 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 cut. And by the way, yes. Yes, I did. Uh, shit. Uh, yes, I did replace Slash with Cut because I had to get around the map. Oh, you also might notice uh, all my Pokemon are of some higher levels. Well, I faced a lot of trainers on uh, the Eastern Sea. Not only that, not only that, uh, I accidentally challenged the Elite Four again. Uh, oh, shyster. So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, fun. And oh my god, this Gorlock, thank you. So yeah, I got uh, a lot of levels. So that, that's pretty nice, that is pretty nice. But I found nothing particularly of interest besides more trainers. Ah, jeez, that hurts so much! What the- what the French toast? Yo, Rock Smash! Holy shit! <laughs> that was kind of, uh... Okay, that was close. That was close. Oh, I see Rotting actually doesn't have uh, Slack or Truant, that's right. I, I guess I have to, I guess I absolutely have to. God, I have such a terrible fighting weakness on this team. Really? 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 History? Damn it! Just die! Oh my goodness! Yuck. Actually, yeah, it would have been very advantageous to stick um the other one out there. <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, you know what? You know what? We'll see. We'll see what Joel can do here. With that last, um, yeah, yeah, uh, he ran out of full resource. Thank goodness. My child. Norma glares um, balefully into Loba's eyes, breathing hard. You have killed your father. Okay, I've died. Okay, that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Farewell, father. I hit and switch. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I needed. So. So 
So I guess I could challenge some of the other gym leaders, which I will. Um, but, you know, off screen. Actually, in fact, I think that it has... Yeah, I think that's enough for this episode. I don't know how it's gonna come out. Um, I probably gotta cut a lot of junk out. Might be pretty short, but you know what? You know what? That's fine. So thank you very much, citizens, for watching. I hope you enjoy. And next time... Um, next time, I think we can actually make some progress. Because after that little uh, event trigger... At uh, the Pokemon League, uh, with Professor Birch and the Swamper and the weird thing, uh, the path to the right of Lily Cove City, the one where um, Team Magma Dash Aqua's base used to be, uh, that is now open. So I think I can reach um, the city through there. So that is amazing. Glad to hear it. Making progress. But that is for the next time. Right now, it is time to sign off because this has been President Bocelli, and that is what he does. Wait.